This is St. Croix's The Rewind. Welcome to The Rewind. Our set is under construction this week. But we hope you enjoy this segment, How to Be Cool with David Fazbender. David. 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 Hey. He's dead. We, um, we're having some technical difficulties. We'll be back. Let's just do grinds my gears. Grinds my gears. Yeah, Chris grinds Brown. my gears. Hi, I'm Chris Johnson. You know what really grinds my gears? Death. <laughs> so sorry. I promised myself we wouldn't do this. But <laughs> my best friend! <laughs> It's okay, Chris. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. We'll get through it. We're having more technical difficulties. We'll be back. It's okay. I'm Stuntman, and I'm busy filming my own movie, but I decided to take some time out to tell you how to really be me. The first thing you need to know about being a stuntman so you always need to have a uniform and a pose. First, the uniform. Of course, you need something that everyone will recognize you in, but also practical for what you're doing. For me, I wear this black coat. It helps me in case I fall down or fall down. I also have these gloves in case I fall down or touch something very hot. The next most important thing is your pose. You always need to have some sort of pose because poses, they make you stand out from ordinary people. They make you seem more than you are. And even if it isn't a really good pose, you can tell that you're different. The next thing you need is a posse. You can never have too much of a posse or too little. My posse is an incredible boy. He likes to take off his shirt. Now one thing you really need to know about your posse is, are they going to do better than you? Are they going to stab you in the back? They need to be there to back you up no matter what and make sure that you're the center of attention. The next thing you need is a camera to capture everything you do. Isn't that right, camera? The next thing you need to do if you're going to be like me is always do stunts. Always be prepared to blow people's minds. This next stunt, I'm going to drink a drink. But it won't be any drink. This drink is water with 
cookies, more cookies that are probably stale, some Chex Mix, and some lint from my friend's pockets. Now, one thing you need to know is you need to be able to make a good show about what you're doing because if people aren't watching, then what are they doing? They don't care about you. Now I'm going to chug this drink. <sighs> Stop, man. We're here with Mr. Becker about freshman basketball. So, Mr. Becker, how's the season going? I think the season's going pretty well. Uh, we got a record above 500. We've improved a lot from the, the beginning of the season. You know, you have a guy lying on your floor. Oh, yeah, he's a prop. He's a prop. Don't, don't worry about, about it. it. Um, yeah. So, would you say, um, who would you say your key players are? Uh, we got about. Couple of key players. I think he knows. <laughs> Go ahead. So here's uh, like we get, we got a couple of good key players. Uh, we got some good athletes: Chris Hart, Nate Stubb, Jared. Those are probably the, the top ones. Mike Galler. It's a good outside shot when he when he takes it. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He is just yeah. he's really tired. Aren't you, David? <laughs> Aren't you? He, he has. Yeah. Is um, yeah, so fine. so are you are you having a good time? Coaching basketball. Having a blast. Can't blast. believe the season's almost over. It's almost over. What's your favorite part so far? Uh, interacting with the kids. Uh, being able to teach them basketball. Game that I like. Okay, thank you. Yep, no thank problem. You. No problem.